Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this was advertised as a bilingual event, so Nimi Moyicha Levi Dachana noch a falsch out of Ulle and Tishan Shog and a fish we word Erechure Toy Leshen Inat word egg all high operain inat erson scrive cruachel. Just I suppose I should say that one in English to make sure it gets out there. The word, the, the word center for creative writing. Um, sound le onani, marismoa ha anyej rechurer doi le taik vo, vo skipper eganol hai. Agus ha taik menichi kujok esas anavikur er doi fish marsho taik vo alobachruachal, uh, karle bale operain. Agus olhai operain. Agus erson en tachertas sho hashin kujok Gumatangel or Shantaik, Vo Horlan and Yorichen. Smisha Michelle Niklodge, Art Old of Nagalic, Ek Ola Operain, Agus Amigama, Gumatolis, Jefalche, Echur, Eren Jish, Ha Eren Arduler, Color Emenu, Ershon of Ibrin, Eren Kuch Scrivi. So, um, I think I just introduced myself. I'm the least interesting person here. I'm Michelle, and I'm going to welcome our um, our two guests in Toshoch, um, Graham Cooper, Fashkara Mishok, a Shirok Operain, Fa Graham Na Lanser, a Shon Imbetoch Bliona, a Gazan Jaga, a Griach Galikalye, Hoshi Gyonsa Gallic, a Club Gallic Operain, a Gazan Ocean, a Gyonsa Gigastric Salmorostic. Ha Graham Erskioloch and Garage Escrivig, a Gaz Volins Nishanel Kenyak and Jane Tenyamaha, a Revlog, a Gat Graham Krimakan. <laughs> How could I forget? Graham's got a really interesting blog, uh, which I have perused. Krimakan, uh, Skioloch and Dachan and Ochishin, Maha Ui Akav Aum. Um, ach, sound er a novel a sur ege, a vision you bring in Jew. Sean Darn a novel, egg Graham, and Rose Elias. Agus, um, uh, Hoshin in your show. Uh, hier du isch es ho ach beschlort o gene wech ek e wot an pjast an a da wile fichet se ja äh jachtriel haun novel jachtriel ma jen ähm king james the fourth and the period leading up to the battle of flodden so a lot of history there but it's the characters that make the novel i think äh uh, a gespisch de brin er and a character in Erin Yachtri, Erin Ramsuchy. Kujoch Calderin ha Callum L. MacLeod. Anihe Kuche, Erson in Skrivegeke, ach Anihe Shinye e mar Vraha Kirsti, Turiche. So, um, sound in your niche ha Callum o Hus, ach le Kieldichen, Turlich a Varai. Ha Callum er Groom Grean Skrivi Iachin Gericisho, a novel and Bardoch, Neochus, Ach Saun er Drama, a Vision Yamach, and Jew, Agus and Jalof Kluich, Ege, Stornoway, Quebec. Um, Agus Afis, Gumfache, Fagenia Show, Stornoway, Quebec, Nudavasho, and the Nopperein. So, I think one of the things we'll talk about with Callum is the difference between writing styles as a, as a novelist, a journalist, a poet, but we're talking about theatre today and what and how is that style different? So how do you come to be Christian er in Jewish scriptor? Er schon stache trikast und huerach ach bitchig akische kujach Christian achur in the scriptor. And so just keep thinking while we're talking. If you have any questions that you would like to ask that I miss, I've got a few questions. I know they've got different things to talk about, but you might have a burning question yourself. So be of jishal le kisht mahashivigiri. Kisht mata. And Toshoch, um, silly me, good big image, you know, find your mach, beckon, my yen, uh, a daffy, screevy, Hanach, Gishin Ule, Gummy Osteroch, um, Sarnaby Quebec, I guess I'm a king, check nach the lever, hooded in your eros, it is. Marshan Graham, um, an easy gain, come my yen, aha, and your. Well, she. 
Shinovel Echter Ela Hound, Agus Moot Nishachnin Ron Vlar Flodden, and Kaul Abuvisa of Aun Riev Er Blar Achoki, Ahuv Ahuv Alaba, Em Chail Alaba Kor is Jech Mili Fair. Koyu, uh, Agus uh, Morin Jina Jina Hurkarin, Agus Ri Nahalaba, Ri Seamus Akeher, Kaul Uavasach, Uavasach. Ach Han Yor Munashakinian Ron Vlar. Va Alaba Va. Van Duich, Van Duich, Ga Jessica Gain, San Ka. Ach, San Luna Stall, Koiki a jig, a tree jig. That's, uh, sorry, I should be saying this in English a little bit. So, the, the, the novel is about the weeks before the Battle of Flodden. Um, it's a historical novel. Um, and Flodden was the worst loss on the field of battle that Scotland ever experienced. They lost more than 10,000 men on the field. They lost most of the nobility of Scotland. And they lost their king. And um, happening as it did in 1513, some have suggested, with good reason perhaps, that by this eradication of the, most, the vast majority of the most powerful people in Scotland, it kind of paved the way for the Reformation and later for the union of the crowns and the union of the parliaments. So it was immensely significant. So, Erash, Erash Kundigali. Um, Alaba, Alnan, Koikiet, Koikiet Jig, Sitri Jig, Scotland 1513, San Lunastal, Hunig and Rishemis, a on the Nicholas Nuvion. So in, 15, in, in, in August of 1513, King James saw a ghost in St. John's Church in Linlithgow. Horst and Taisha Roga, the ghost gave him a warning. Nach Rache Gemaga Ijer, Nanjanaga Yunsi Ersasin, the ghost gave him a warning that things were not going to go well if he attacked England. Savat. Galav and Ri Seamus er Tashchilach a Valaguich. Essence can be a Eter Guyen a Nuv Guyich. Okay. Sorry. I'm not very good with a microphone. Um, did you all hear that? Okay. Yeah. Nah. Um, so the king immediately left on pilgrimage. Now, pilgrimage was something he did every year, but he immediately left on a very quick pilgrimage to go to Tain, where the church and shrine of St. Duthuk were. He was wanting to have the intercessory prayers of St. Duthuk with him as he went into battle. He'd been going them every, every year for 20 years to the same church on a pilgrimage. And often there was a fair amount of frivolity and fun en route, but this was a quick one. Na chudjoch va Meister Enric Leach liege lancer piersente and ri fergen a pietenich in the king's company were Master Henry Leach, his personal surgeon and physician, one of the famous Beatons, the famous medical dynasty of the Highlands. Agus Kujoch, na Kujoch, va Thomas Murriv, Thomas Murriv, that's Thomas Murray, um, and Tamatan Abiarish, his favourite jester. Agus she Thomas, a yinches and skeelach going. Thomas tells us the story. He's the narrator. Marajevi Yolis Erin Lancer. Agus Marajie Askillen Gan Clarkug. As he gets to know the surgeon. Um, and he watches him at work. He watches him using his skills. Agus Marajuris Marajuris Achomas and Hain. Gufame, and of Yators Tokel Dunri, Nurahikna Smunchen Kintach Doraka Air. And he uses his own skills as a fool to give the king a lift when the king is in a black mood. He's carrying a burden of guilt, uh, King James IV. He stood against his own father 
on the battlefield and his father was killed. So this is something he's carried with him ever since. Um, so Marshin Hanafir Hanafir Fin Yos Rikeli Agus Nurshin Biata Biata Markach Kol Rikeli in Northumberland and in Sassi. Ach Bien Kyol Erfig Nefilie Muschik Lamor Acha. But they, they, they get to know each other, they get on well, but then they march down to Northumberland where the battle's going to happen. They, they get the big battle, and but before it happens, things go haywire, things, things fall apart. So that's... Kiar Kuntis. Shane, taprat. I guess I'll have a couple of years in the store in Quebec. Well, she she fixed an extra little hall. Lean gave me a terrific job. I guess skira a terrific job. Could you? Hi, Salmiyin. Mara hello to von Chichtel. Bala Stornovay, I'm Bala Stornovay, and Quebec. And Och of Lean Jig, va Kyrus noch Jigel, a furach as a skira shen, vorkutju. Salon a Lewis Vayet. I guess er son fat bliene va fer you dol Morriston va essen va hoke kastjen na e. I guess va essen von heil fiachingri huji yanu er fiachin lug ar Quebec. I guess salon mi en stiloch exen a ha Stornoway Quebec. So Stornoway Quebec is as you as you might imagine, is set in a town called Stornoway in Quebec in the 19th century, the 1880s. Uh, there was a Gaelic-speaking community there, mostly Lewis folk that had moved over um, in the earlier in the 19th century. One of them, a fellow called Donald Morrison, uh, got into a bit of trouble with the law and ended up the most wanted man in Canada for a year. He was on the run and evading capture as um, the provincial and then federal uh, governments sent more and more uh, waves <laughs> after uh, Donald Morrison. Um, and Stornoway Quebec is, it takes, it's, it is historical fiction in that it is fiction and history is a thing that exists. Um, but I, took an awful lot of liberties uh, with it, uh, to the point of just inventing an awful lot. Well, thank you. I guess I'm going to tell you, 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 um, some of you who saw the play might have been surprised also to think that the, the play was about this, this one fellow in particular. You know, it was, it was an ensemble piece, wasn't it? And there was one character I want to talk about with you shortly. More on time. So, an uncommonness on a piece in show Yachtriel, Gujarav. Chef fiction a hunter. Um, ach, femigra tor, rounsihi, a ye or son, a toshahu levi kur, fiction rehelish jeste, er, er, the tachertus and er, the dene. Graham, at the end of your book, you kindly give us a kind of a bibliography. These are the things that I, I, I used. Natus and Eva Akat, their son, a yours, a scrivig, ach, um, Jeho fats a hooker, yolus a hur, chavicha, let a skiolok, um, and yes, at the past as the river, eh, no, eh, Jeho Kutrumux a high, vi yolok er in yachtri. Um, well, she echtri, she echtri a haun, agis, rain me round suckug, a yuns grimmy ersen, gumbig, and skiloch chofia sagag. I did a lot of research because I wanted the story to be as 
true to reality as it could possibly be. I guess Marcin Raimi, Keir, Koek, Vjorchen, Mu, Echtri, Blar Flodden. Um, I guess Chorzerum. I read three or four books about, about the history of, of the Battle of Flodden and I enjoyed it. Shen Rangsakug, Chorzerum. I enjoy the research. Um, Stalom of uh, I like I like reading. I guess Marcinka. Chorderum vi vi a gen of rounsikug I guess rhymy rounsikug fat, of fat, tagulebli in a tribli in a stocker. I did a search for two and a half to three years reading up. I can now know when I was a scrivig kujach. I guess I know when I was a scrivig. I guess a krunichug stu is na sanam yor. That's about that's about when I was a scrivig. You're saying it's, it's a novel, it's fiction. Ach, that is a character in fear. The, three, the, the, the main characters are absolutely genuine. I guess, um, and through it, it me and the Skialoch, the three in the midst of the story, and three Seamus Akir, Gafolashach, Enric Leach, I guess, Thomas Murriv. Why it down? Why it down? Mm. Uh, the, so these, these three people, the king, the physician, the fool, they were real people who really existed. And mm. I put flesh on the bones. I created a story ar around these characters who were, who were real. Well, Gorobjarn Vorau. There was a big gap regarding all, th all three of them. Mm. Well, thank you. I think it's a good thing. 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 I think it's a good um, er son sha hors kabul a toshach mar novel exodusion mar jalak lui well ha inchina har haro ha ha inchina ha nurj genya va marshapen kelon alios i guess fisik jemien e farshar haramish er klein jemien icha um it's be fast you know and you'll put in a second re lois so and you'll shall occur cuz you got him ah um so Growing up, I'd never heard of the Megantic Outlaw, and it was a story that I encountered as an adult, and I think that made me all the more excited by it. Um, and you need excitement <laughs> to, before you can embark on anything as daft as attempting to write a historical novel. So, Shena Hachagos, Vamisha Furoch, and in Quebec, and in Montreal and Quebec. I guess when we are son, when we say we are son, novel screening at some point, then we are in the jail and Canada. How many are son screening? We are in Alabanuig or when we ask for Alabanuig, I guess how often she carries on falling has she? I guess during the evening, the screening can actually happen. I guess be it, I guess how many, how many guess novel is she screening? Now this novel is to a Calister McLeod. So, so lot of me screening. When we are in touch with a character screening, we are in. Um, um, uh, uh, so land you share Winnipeg, how now? I can now share Red River Colony of Alnus. I'm a young lack of glass and scale lock shin. Um, we gain ding a high and foot of rig, though, uh, uh, Cathy, I guess, notion a no and hen ach. Why, I can my Costco be fine, Munkur, Shana, Canada. I guess a Canada, Doch Richinoch Moor, good job. So, and that's if you feel like you find a Winnipeg, it's Ransom, you can be in Shaw, Hosh Media, like famous, same as she's like a great famous Gavel, Skelkin, Inchinoch, me in a Gale and a Quebec. I guess in Cal Carson, who are rock, Google, Lorak, me Skelok, a Megantic outlaw. Um, I guess who's me Shaka, Joe Grish, a Ransom, um, Heimigan Skier, uh, Quebec. As a raw hain, a furoch as a raw coirshnochshin, Heimigan a balchin, um, like Megantic, I guess, Stornaway, I guess, Natchkin Shaw. 
uh, I guess could you give me the three or care you can muskie like a goal Morrison I could you share your could you make a go as a round so you share what me like the catechism Scrive uh, Dr. Margaret Bennett, me mm. yin a choir schnockshin, I guess a dive a vache. Um, I guess sort of, I mean, a goper gamakru elation novel von Heil, a via fiaching, er, uh, gira, navau henegamus, er, graham, a fiaching revi, feeding a, a cumul, ho blues a burning a re feeding nehiachtri. I guess a nursing or hanneke a storm wake a beck. Haromir son shin a yan over me son jira fa fesakum gra, gilior akum sestoris, I guess giliomi er rounds of gilior yanu, I guess va deadlines tight akum, I guess habunga kumalorum around so rig. So do you click me like shemach mening ming akum at all? Um, so, yet quickly to summarize, I was living in um, Montreal and looking for stories to tell about the gales in Canada and uh, after discarding a couple of other ideas, I I decided there must be stories about the gales specifically in Quebec because getting around C Canada is very expensive, um, and I was very broke. And so instead of writing about the gales in Nova Scotia or in Winnipeg or any other parts of Canada where there are fascinating stories, I started looking for stories closer to Montreal and within a few minutes I found the story of the Megantic Outlaw and this community that was a few hours drive uh, east of Montreal. I spent, I went out to those communities, spent some time there and to see the actual landscapes and get a sense of the distance between these towns and these settlements and I read, uh, there's a good few um, history books written about accounts of the Megantic Outlaw episode in the history of that, but also Dr. Margaret Bennett's book, Oatmeal and the Catechism, about the the community of the Gales in the Eastern Townships was the, that was the most important book for me in the research because it was telling you what their actual lives, what the lives of this community uh, was like. And I tried to put the community story at the heart of the novel von Heil. Uh, rather than just the story of Donald, even though Donald is the central figure and the instigator of all the plot in both the story and in the and in the play. And then when it came to the play, because I'd done so much research for this, the novel, I was very strict. I was like, and I had strict deadlines. I was like, I can't afford to waste any more time finding out when things like uh, um, drawing pins when they were invented and just going down rabbit holes of research instead of writing the damn thing. I want to thank. I, I, should have, I didn't explain when I asked the question. Um, that I come from, from Lewis, and the Megantic Outlaw, for some reason, I think we're terribly proud of him, even though he's, <laughs> he's a, a rogue. <laughs> but he was infamous. I think just there was a lot of infamy surrounding the story. Um, so curious to, to know about the, the real person and the... the the history and the sto the research that you carried out. Um Graham, sir and big to John of Peace Becca Leaving in ish. Um Graham will read just a little bit. And we have if you can squint you'll be able to follow it in English on on there. Yep. That's it. Ik dacht ik een jaar. Hij mij gaat kunnen aanje in een prijf karakter en een rijschemische keer. Enrik Leech, Lancer en Rie, Agus Thomas en Tamatan. At the beginning of the book, I'm introducing to us the three main characters: the king, um, Henry Leech, the physician, and the fool Thomas. And by fool, of course, I mean that he was a he was a jester because, of course, he's really quite a sharp cookie. I don't know how to say that in Gaelic. Foskelche na chlacken. He's got a he's 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 got a he's got a he's got a good mind. So, um, show yerin, show yerin, on toshik an yor, jellev. Jelivaraimi mu homas, Amatan and Ri.
Hormagenes, de Gunies en Ameten. Ach, ko elle schrives. En ach, jolik en trank en Jessica geen is een ka. Is misje Thomas, Ameten rie hemische keer. Tuiki tu, je wil korre Ameten, ik en rie, ach, garachig doen je na mij. Nen kan in gur misje en Tameten as jaarlies. Karson, gen er is akkem. Gen ik, je wil mi ergkel, en nu ten no boek. Ze in hier in de hou en gewil valt ruiger, gierig maar al ten rie. Ach, ga nil mi aard no taf bi idjer, ha mi kruupach. Wat chinjes arm nem oike, ages gake scherikje, ma gaas jes. Veem mi gewil en ermsje akkem, akkoordig rie chen rie, ages gewille agerbse gassem. Ach, ga jig bai en rie lea heen, bi kunnerste nou in de luip. Als ik hier dolle mag, wie farm het? Ik vier een kursje riel, geen woeie hakken meer. A hul je gershin, wie een tjeetje dagig, eigens naar klakken hakken, zoeken te zijn mo griech. A koer een oeslen, eigens naar koersteren, eer een zochker. Wie had de geheinige gewil kloosen hakken? Eigens jat zijn leem bier leer een goelin. Goelen mi koos. Goeroek is zo, ha mi eer een puntje, eigens een skien en gechnig. Gurukje sho, garodat akem rijulen, ach uud. A reer baars na kursje, meister Uljem dan baar. Va maher na avarborb, schiel gaan, moest er ook gare geden. Bi ben hier, a van hem vaher, a gin mi le druig gui. Is misje, masier, an rijere Thomas Merv, rijere kuv, lan treventisch, skurser naifchen en rij. Gleachketer train, ages dancer jellenta, go utrem ri ichik. Genel unig en geen gen ieren aan, ages kruegel ermsje avaarst. Ha eentje nog zeel in me, kunt u ook als een fies faction of u er, ehm, Past and Jeff Hulter, Nangel, the Vaho Kutramoks, as Nahalaba, a bard, the power of the bard. Um, the fool also, as you rightly mentioned, was not a fool as we think today. It was, it was an honorable position, mm -hmm. uh, a trained position. Um, and you, you, you mentioned these, these characters and their learning. Um, and the, the 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 fool had suffered from uh, satire, and I think it's just worth pointing out to people here who were reading the English translation that this is a generally well-held belief that satire from a poet could really cause a lot of harm. So poets amongst you, you know, you have that special skill. Hevdan triochgan ansenjor liche. Amethan, um, and, and what Taringo Rutze, you know, were you particularly interested in these professions and these roles? Um, uh, well, Rava Ui Buravus. Well, Rava, Va Ui Vor Akum. And so, so, I had a lot of interest in the physician. Lieche agus launser, physician and surgeon. Um, Enric Leach. Um, agus anan doi. Well, er ma honsa, she Enric Leach, an priv character, an senior. In my opinion, Henry Leach really is the main, the central character in the book. Um, agus, well, I guess, and Tamatan, well, leave me, leave me Bardach, bar uh, William Dunbar. I was reading the poetry of William Dunbar. I guess, Scrive, Scrive Bardach, Moon, uh, Moon, Moon Amatan show. He wrote, he wrote a, a poem uh, about this fool, I guess, Sanasa Shen, Hanek, and, 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 uh, and Skilov show. That's where this little mm. story comes from. It's in a, in a, in a poem written by by William Dunbar. I guess, 
Maar, maar, maar Giel eert eer kotig in Joa. Hij karen wel dorig. The, the cover of the book is deliberately dark, as you see. I mean, it's a dark period. I mean, it's a disaster for Scotland. It was a disaster. I guess, actually, I'm not in that the Coromacum bacon fjelligar a curish and steel. But with the, with the fool, sorry, with the fool, with the fool, I had the opportunity to throw in a little bit of fun and silliness into the story as well, to kind of lighten, if you like, the darkness of the guilt of the king and this slow slide towards the disaster of flood and so. And he's absolutely dedicated to the king. He just absolutely adores the king. So it's, yeah, and there's, he's, he tries to give him a lift, as I said earlier on. Beatrice Tokolga, he gives a lift to the king uh, who, who suffers a lot from, from, from guilt and dark, dark broodings. Um, Welsh in Gilior? Gilior? Yeah. I had a lot of sports on the start of a Jaili ke gle kusperen doing, I guess kusperen garche mien, um, mien fuatachug mien gach fjering to be get the vision at a miskin in gael tein yon nerein ni gael mar uh, luch uh, stjeach a colony a uh, taul nach rabunting gaiv um, agul yar mien behe negivlin jig. Ek ars na hin parach, hagama ma dorache agus femishin biachu er ach hanyel mir sons kibia farachi marupar gachi hanyel mir sons kibia jiroch doringach agus mar self-flagellation agus ha va va miria ver sons kibia agus kujach ha ha jiroch she skilok ek ek ir an doi hai an doi harut ken jiro kho comic me ye um ken nater me in skilok shen i guess eh we got dar of go we skig me in shen gonna be a tokal er shen like she had torjin archetypes for western now na had takhar shan quebec i guess hai jiro i i guess she gale hans a kho vor hule ding as skilok um i guess Vige Kuchuk Vige Sparsal. Vige 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 Sparsal, I guess, eving a visin to your shin. I guess we negain the dingest shin as a stuyah shin. Vige trifialaga. I guess we the comedy not parsed in the halaya or high. So, yeah, I think for me, uh, writing about uh, 19th century Canada. Um, I couldn't write about that without exploring themes of emigration, immigration, exile, but also colonialism at the height of the empire and all the all the brutality that that involved and was built upon. Um, but I uh, didn't want to explore that in a sort of self-flagellating way, and I think comedy is the best way to actually talk about a lot of these dark issues that we're all well, hopefully, some of us are starting to uh, try to get our heads around. And also, I think, just thinking about these people as real people um, rather than ciphers for some metaphor that I want to talk about. Um, real people in that situation, real gales in that situation would be having a laugh because it's inherently ridiculous mm. that the most wanted man in Canada is their pal Donald. Yeah, Um Big to come out, peace and leave again. I feel like I'm going to be peace out. So, Sean Giroch hit Sean Marhan Jalakluich at Foskalig, a monologue at Foskalig at Jalakluich. So, this is, the, this is the opening monologue from the play Stornoway Quebec. And it's 
there's no, I don't have a translation of it because it flits between Gaelic and English, and hopefully uh, it was written in such a way uh, that it should be uh, understandable to both audiences. Um, so it's Mission Mari, I'm Mari. Uh, uh, you'll find out who Mari is. And Fakatu eh, Dal Moristan, and Falkerach, Dalvurhi in Hermitch. Hanach du ichere. Lyosach a hunnitz kutchok. Tia kyar. Nechel tuxin gaelic varei. Hanyemuchuch vyerl a bullock of glaste. Nien gnoch. Marmi hain shenater ja texan chuchter hybrid a haun. What about you, mister? You seen Donald Morrison. He's about ye high, mustache. Goes by the megantic outlaw. Canadian Rob Roy, the most wanted man in Canada, dead or alive. Ruth Aving, or of a misha fucking keen chuck, or I'm marav marha. What I'm saying is, I thought he was dead already. Tuxing? Glan. Moyo Kharaj Dal, wanted for the murder of a piss poor bounty hunter, hired to arrest Donald for torching a house that belonged to his father. That mortgage was shady as hell. The lender of these mortgages was a fellow Lewis man, the Major. Donald's mother and father, they got the goamach, evicted. One thing leads to another, leads to two bullets through the throat of a bounty hunter. Vuravar, nachiafuar, enoch, who'd leave Texas for this? This is Stornoway, apparently. Quebec, Ginchiku. She is in Rata Tolstow, I guess Dal, I guess Kroch Nish. She didn't hook it there in Yering Gutsch to show. And you'll say, I'm Jane Tanya Mavik, the Habenaki here in the Skira. Sana settlers go annulox a high at Kuma. She has stored away a hound in Ish. I guess Tain Grot or Nash in the Nabenaki. Montreal's about a day's ride that way. Main's just over that hill. Not your usual locale for. Bounty hunters and wanted men. But, Shafar and the Rukig is hooking down. I see. Then, 14 years ago, Donald, barely a man, headed west to the States, technically the territories, starts cowboying back and forth between Montana and Texas, makes some money, keeps out of trouble until he meets me. We were the best cattle rustling gang in Texas till he disappears at precisely the moment the law catches up with the rest of our gang. I made it out alive. The others aren't stealing any more cattle. Donald came back here, it seems. I mourned that son of a bitch. Lassig kanyelin or son anam. Chirach smernichi. Misha, lassig kanyelin. Misha, Mary Nien Eching, Neil Hamish Rurin and Shach Rurian. Mary McNeil of Barra, the last of the Gallic pirate queens, wasting my breath, praying for the soul of a very living traitor. In the seven years since I last saw Donald, I've made quite the name for myself as a bounty hunter. I've spent the last two weeks in these parts, buying drinks, acting dumb, and listening. I uh, loosened the lips of one of his cousins, told me that when the snow comes, Donald is heading down from the mountains to a hotel owned by the husband of yet another cousin, located in this so-called Stornoway. Thought it best to check out for myself. Barely a village. People that got one, li one eye looking this way and one eye looking the other. I've been keeping myself outside the main settlement. Maybe I'll get lucky. So here's what I know. You got the Quebecois, French speaking Catholics, loyal to Quebec, last rose up against the crown about 40 years ago. Then you've got some Scots, English speaking lowlanders, last rose up against the crown, maybe never. They just want some hero in a white hat to ride into town and deliver them from this maniac. Ach, Niliosi. Niliosi. Shiri counts of Orkuch. Erin Tokal, Erin Hato. She is a show. Torslion and Dive and Kuch Echtri and Shenachis. Haganakal, Hop, fucking 
emefilche krachje kunerstoch. Lewis folk are loyal to Lewis folk. Five months now they've helped Donald evade capture. Five months, people. They've put the fucking army on standby. Canadian army, but still. They've put $4,000 on his head. Canadian, but still. Then you've about a thousand Montreal policemen, legions of detectives and judges and newspaper men swarming over each other for the next lead. And let's not forget every psychopath, dilettante and desperate idiot with a pistol that fancies making $4,000. I even heard a rumor that those snake-eyed cocksuckers the Pinkerton Detective Agency are in town. Trying to extricate one man from that would be like trying to pluck an eyelash from a grizzly. Not impossible, just suicidally stupid. Buena bass, wish me luck. Morning, thank you, Callum. Nish, who is the Ekatosha Gran Mayen Tol Morriston and Megantic Outlawhan Jalof Clui? I get a pre character, so the Misha get a Mari pre character. Um, if I call the Grim, no, the Honig me and Jal of Clue Homur. Um, Cosa Hanik Biak or Sean Borano, Holaget, Jivakadir Pirate, um, Last of the Gallic Pirate, yeah, Last of the Gallic Pirate Queens. She was actually a wonderful, strong female character. Uh, where did you come from? Well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, again, to be honest, it's is, is a pretty of character scale auction. So, um, when we are thinking, the Jalof Cluj has, I know the current man, I get the hack of the novel of his, a cool guy, doing, I guess, galenic like character in this act, but he's much better versed. Um, I guess he had, got a duty to be mean, you know, kaiyer snog. Well, he did have good yard, mean, you know, kaiyer snog. Karsnok Gaelach, the Nagavlin Jig, Gluchawark, Sala and Jew, Fuse Maha Gaelic Achke, I guess Vigilar, I mean Dachis, and Luchawark Egna Vigal, Kuchok. I guess the Norsham Fiaching the Yenushin, Ansakohex Jig Quebec, the Nagavlin Jig, I guess Ha Ha Purlam and Kursh, Ha Frankish Makursh Kuchok, I guess Ha Miskahushin at all, and Doy Sassashin Yanu, but Miss Munchi Gerevi, Lorak Kuchikin Ava. Gutur, um, Jiroka Kalk, Jirok Eta Yalikja, von the character in Shogs, von Koyershnok Shaw. So, um, I guess you're Mari of Ashen. So, when you smunch it, so one of the, the, the difficulties of writing a play compared to a novel is, um, establishing the setting and conveying the, that, the nature of a community, um, in a way that the audience can grasp, and I think doing that with any any Gaelic uh, community in the 19th century would be a challenge. Um, but specifically, the Gaelic-speaking community in the eastern townships of Quebec in the 19th century, where you've got these three languages at least overlapping, and uh, it was a lot. So the best way I thought to introduce that community and explain that community to it was to have an outsider come in and the more of an outsider, the better, and the biggest, the more of an opposite of that community, uh, the better. So I thought, the, what is the opposite of this? Gaelic, Lewisach, very, they're going to be, as the 19th century, so 19th century Calvinist, uh, <laughs> macho world, and I thought the opposite of that would be uh, a female bounty hunter from Barra, who's also from Texas. Um, and so that's where Mary came from, just trying to be like, what is the opposite of, of that? Yeah, she was great. She was really, really a good character to see on stage. Um, and, and you spoke there about the language. Um, and, and in the play, you know, you have Gaelic, French and English. And Graham, in your book, you know, it's a historical novel. Um, ha Silly Miguel and Canon at the Yaldish to Kujok at the Nakaricturin. Hator Cori got dollars and novel like it, Graham, Vola Orem. Cori get the Nakaricturin and Jeffrey. I guess ha a stayed a lavished 
sorichte achke et jaldichte achke ähm hat hanele vier kun check it on aum hat jeffrichte von lanju in in trainische gene graag o rein rein ähm wami wami erstens kun big kein ein ri iterjelechte dann dann kein ne 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 dunje ne dunje ele schen schen wann 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 hoch me i was i was from the start, I wanted the King's register of language to be different uh, from, from, from the other characters. I guess, I was Gaelic Scrivche, I was a little Gaelic Scrivche, well, when I was a little bit of a Gaelic Scrivche, I was a in August. Gesonnerhi, chlach mi, chlach, chlach mi, and shaun chimenig. I used the Old Testament. I was, I was reading material from the past, you know, for the time past, old style Gaelic, if you like. Probably 19th century Gaelic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good guess. Uh -huh. um, to, to pick up that different flavour of, of of speech, I, uh, um, I guess. Uh, well, shen arain me, I guess. Uh, Hoor me more in San San Chaun Chimenig of a of a of a famil go. I found a lot in the Old Testament that was quite useful because, of course, of a more in of a more in Rhi now and I guess why you had a savage fat now here. Yeah. There was lots of kings and they were fighting all the time in the old. Yeah. Um, but for for a character and I could bring a certain novel. I could see Graham. Ah, the last go column so I guess those in Chile be hooked. Jake would did if so high if he would Jake would Jeffrey just so high if he um escribe a of clue in actual novel. So kind of thinking about the differences between novel writing mm -hmm. and then preparing a play for stage that you know is going to be produced. Uh, well, ha. I had I guess, had an assassin who had a house meeting in Chansk and JT and Arstula. As he had dragged in Stornu Quebec, a shell of a tacker's jail in a canoe. I guess, fishing a car to groom Jija Clan, I guess, fishing Turk, the screen got a novel we got that. As a canoe, I guess, a shot, I guess. Um, as an ocean, you know, had again, Foles can be a dollar and arch jeweler and set designs like, you know, hang out with Jane Shin. <laughs> so, um, yeah, to our practicalities, um, she, she wrote to Hound Shem, Jacob, um, made the actual Jaha, Jaha Kielaku, Narut, Jaha Moor Kielaku, uh, Jaha Farshing Kielaku, and a novel and a jalaku. If I'm a gopper, callery, you know, a horse, you shall hear me. Cause me, who me doish for um, Playwright Studio Scotland? I guess for me a gober quality, for me a fine tight dramaturgical for um, Douglas Maxwell, um, sar sar creator uh, Jalan Cleeche. Um, I guess for me a mean you go. Oh, hamir hamir a novel fata a novel tors fikit bliana. I guess I'm a die fikit stocker lichit character on. I guess so. Hami Hermes she said good year of night me asin. I guess you don't do some character. I guess West and Grand like I shouldn't. I'll ask the Rian. I shouldn't come more or son jealously. So I can count how who she's going to stock a tree line and exquisite character. I guess has to be a man of genu. For me, fear in the key of a good and darn a act. I guess interest acts. I'm just like, oh my crack, a coos cat, a coig, a coos character. I guess there's a novel having a coig gilliard or some could just more of a novel. So, she did have a touching version. So, as I was saying there, it's in terms of the differences between writing for stage and writing novels. Um, first of all, there's the practicalities. There's a difference between writing a play that you don't think I'll ever be put on. As I started out this process, um, and there was a scene, a pretty significant scene that took place in the canoe. And then when it, we found out we were going to have uh, that we were going to produce it, the stage managers were like, "We're not doing a scene in the canoe. Behave." Um, oh, there was also a scene where Donald was hanging upside, was hung upside down off of like a moose head and things like that. There was, yeah, I let my imagination run wild, and then mm. the uh, director told me to calm down a wee bit, so I did. And 
But uh, the biggest the biggest difference between writing novels and plays is just the the breadth and the scale of it. And I got a, I was very lucky to receive a, a new playwright award from the Playwright Studio Scotland. And they, they teamed me up with uh, Douglas Maxwell, who's a fantastic playwright. Um, uh, he was giving me some advice, and uh, I was talking about how the novel is set over 20 years, and there's about 50 characters, but I've, I've, I've chopped I've, I think I've got it down to about nine months and about a dozen characters, and he's like, that's an opera. That is that is not a play. That's, too, that's far, far too big for your first play. Mm. So I got it down to five characters over the course of three days, and by the time I was on about the 17th draft, I was like, why did I have five? Why is there so many characters? Because five characters is, I'm not good at maths, but that's like 25 for relationships. Mm. And they're always changing. Mm. So it's a lot, of, a lot of balls to keep in the air. And, you know, as a writer, any, anybody who writes is used to uh, the editing process and people looking at your work. But is it different when you've got people speaking your words and kind of do they change them or uh yeah uh, yep uh, it's it were it's, you involved at all um i was yeah i was i was lucky enough to be uh let into the rehearsal room uh, a few times and there was uh, i think most of the time, almost always, it was it was incredibly it was incredibly helpful. It was more the actors being like, "This is how I would phrase that," um, or "This is how I think somebody of this background would phrase that," um, or "This doesn't make sense," or "This this repeats what you wrote earlier." Um, and um, they, through that process, a lot of them thought that I was incredibly open to this stuff. But I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Of course, I'm open to it. Because on the like, um, she, she, so this was the, the Stormy Quebec was my first play, and I'm in a room full of people that. Is he at Jalakluik in January? Oh yeah, he, yeah, he had me screen Jalakluik in Scanner. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, hard to remember. Scream. But when you bring it, um, we're a whole core. It's a, it's a novel. Like it's a, you know, there's a lot of dialogue I, I thought when mm -hmm. when I read it um, and the interaction between the characters would would you would you ever think of playwriting or um, is that something you'd be interested in um, well hi 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 novel according room against I don't know if you can see it. 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 I don't know if well, she 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 novel escribe me. Ach, she nun root. Munda munda yuv. Um, on the day how yet mar marshal an English vehicle. Here's an a miorco gear. Here not a mark and doing yagis. Mar she well vige vige nebu 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 derev gose ko yu a via a escribe jello jello of clue. I'm asking you. Is a vel novel ella or not? Um. Oh, I can't Okay. He's in. Karsten, I'm I'd like to see if anybody here would like to ask a question. I'm sure I've missed some. Um, Bob's got one. He can. And there's a roving mic coming. Little Graham finishes his drink there before I ask him. Um, I've heard you say that your novel is about the nature of men, and also um, during the piece you've just had, you have appear to have an affinity with Leech, and given your own background, that's uh, quite feasible. Were you tempted to make Leech 
the central character in terms of being the narrator of the whole piece. To be honest, that didn't occur to me to make Le you know to make Leach the narrator. Um, I stumbled in a way on the ca on Henry Leach while reading more generally around in a book by the late John Bannerman about the Beatons. Quite a quite a hard read, I would have to say. And there really are only about four facts we know about him. Um, so I think the, the, the thing that struck me and it got, you know, I felt I have to do this was this, the, the, the terrible thought that he went to Flodden Field with the king and he didn't come back. Um, he, he died. We, do, we don't know exactly how. We can only conjecture as to how, how he was killed because the, the medical tents were often supposed to be behind the battle lines and therefore not to be touched. Um, but there was a fair bit of raiding and uh, uh, bad things went on behind the battle line at the time of the battle. And it's very likely he was murdered, stripped and thrown into a pit with all the other people who'd been killed. So uh, I, felt that this, I, felt, I felt sad about that. Um, there were only maybe four key details of, of Henry Leach's life. He went to Glasgow University, took out an MA in 1500. He got permission for the ancestral lands on Butte in 1510, and in 1513 he went to Flodden with the king. So I was, as you say, with my medical background, I was interested in exploring what might have happened. And everything that does happen to Henry Leach in the book and the path he, 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 used, he goes through his life could have happened, most definitely. It's all based on things that bits and pieces of a jigsaw puzzle maybe that happened to other people that I put together to make up his life story. But in a way, his life story, it, for me, is the center of the book. And as I say, I wanted it really to be told by someone else, although it's in conversation with the fool that his life story does spill out bit by bit. That's fine. Okay, stick to Anybody else got another question? If not, I'll ask uh, Callum one. Uh, in terms of um, how many rewrites of that initial draft did you have, Callum? And, and more to the point, were you happy handing over the script? Because I know this happens when it comes to drama, and you've got to give the actors the space to interpret the script in their own way. Were you happy with the final product? Oh, I was over the moon with the final product. I was delighted with it. I thought it was, I thought it was really fantastic. And um, in terms of the draft, there was, there was three, three main drafts that are like unrecognizably diff different from each other. Um, and, but prior to that, there'd been a, a treatment um, that kept just lurching into me writing a novel. It was about an 8,000-word treatment for this play, um, which is longer than lots of plays are. Uh, so, um, and then the... I think the, actually the, the part that stayed the same for the longest is actually the opening monologue. Um, most of the changes to that were just editing it down and cutting it back and making it tighter. Um, because I think it started all the first draft was maybe about eight to nine minutes long, which is it's a, it's a long time for anyone to and uh, to, to pull off on their own on the stage. But um, the the rest of the play, right up to like very significant things like the ending, were still up in the air in uh, February, and the play opened in March. So. Uh, I think mostly people were just relieved to get the play off of me. <laughs> um, and I was happy to hand it over because I never wanted to see it again. <laughs> um, until, until I'd been away for a few weeks and they rehearsed it and then I went to see it. And uh, yeah, I was very, very happy with the outcome. More than thank Well, Shane Carson, I'm a hang for and she's screaming at us. And she's a good friend of um, and you, I guess, can do a or so on a wee show, I guess, a I guess, a good job. Many thanks um, for, for coming to, to, to the festival and to speaking to us here in uh, University of Aberdeen. It's been great to have you. Shane, everyone. Thanks.